Hello and welcome to the fourth OpenGL screencast where we will be talking about drawing triangles, quads, and polygons in two dimensions. So as you can see here we have pretty much the exact same setup. As we come down to the display function here we're going to have several different vertices already defined um, that we'll be using throughout these examples. Uh, feel free to look at those as you look at the code later but we're not going to go into the details of every single point. Um, as additionally, we also have a color as a right here for white, red, green, and blue, which we'll also be using. So as usual, we will get in here and we will start to do some drawing. So let's start off with drawing triangles. Um, triangles being one of the main things you're going to end up using, and I'll talk about that later of why. Um, so we have a GL begin here with GL triangles, and we have four different points with four different colors defined um, for each point. So let's go in and um, make that. Um, and here we go. So we have point one, two, three, and there's no fourth point. So just like um, before where the extra points are ignored, um, the extra points are ignored in this was just like gel lines. Um, this extra point right here, this extra vertice, vertices is ignored. So that's pretty much it for GL triangles. Um, let me go on to the next one here. So if we go ahead and we have the same GL triangles, but with six points, you would obviously expect there to be two triangles, one with the first three vertices and one with the next three. So same thing. We have three different um, vertices and colors to find up here, and then three more to find from here down. And if we go ahead and make that, boom, we have two different triangles with six different points on there, six different vertices. So very, very simple, um, pretty easy to draw this. So let's go on and check out GL triangle strip. Okay, so GL triangle strip here, it's going to be um, pretty interesting. So we'll take a look here and see what it is. So the way this works is we have um, six, I think I have six points to find here, six vertices. So here's the first one, second, third, and that makes up one triangle. And then the first, second, or excuse me, the second, third, and fourth make up the next. The third, fourth, and fifth make up the next. And the fourth, fifth, and sixth make up the last triangle. So you can see um, slightly there's a little bit of line there. You can see each of those in the GL triangle strip that are used to make that. So that's, uh, that's a very interesting um, thing that you may or may not end up using. So next we'll go check out Triel Triangle Fan. So this one is also pretty cool. And so here the way it works is we have the originating point which is used to make up every other triangle. So 0, 1, 2, 0, 2, 3, 0, 3, 4. Each of these triangles are made up um, with that originating point. So a GL triangle fan, also really simple to make and use. Next we'll check out some quads, which if you might think about it, is just a square. Or, well, not a square necessarily, but a quad. <laughs> so this particular quad has um, six vertices defined. And as you'll see, just like triangles, the last two will be ignored. So we have one, two, three, four vertices to make up that quad, um, the last two not being included to make up the quad. So if we have eight vertices, you would expect two separate quads. And indeed, when you look at it, you do. You have two different quads here one with the first four vertices and one with the next four vertices. Very simple stuff. Next we'll look at the quad strip, which as you might expect, does pretty similar things to the triangle strip. So let's go ahead and, and make that. So we have one, two, three, four uh, vertices to make up that quad and then we have the next uh, two with the last previous two to make up that vertices. 
So that's pretty much how that works. Now let's get to GL Polygon here, which is the most robust of these. And um, but it's also kind of interesting, so let me show you really fast. Um, GL Polygon can make up any polygon shape, and it just takes up the uh, outside vertices of each. And the thing about it is you have to realize it has to be a convex shape, meaning any vertices needs to be able to connect with any other vertices without going um, in between. So let's assume this point right here is actually in here, and those two points uh, couldn't connect without going outside of the polygon. Um, that's not a good thing. And we can go up here and change this really fast. We'll change that point um, to be, let's say, 0.2, and make that. So this is not the way you want to draw these polygons, because now it's no longer a uh, convex polygon, um, but a concave one instead. And while that works right now in this particular example, um, a lot of times it'll end up doing really irregular things that you might not expect. So I would avoid that, and what they normally suggest you do is you break down your polygons into triangles, and that's why I said you use triangles a lot. So you would break this down into one, two, one triangle right there, one right here, one right here, and then one right there. And that's ordinarily the best way to do this. So with that being said, um, this has been another OpenGL screencast. Um, that's all I got for you here, so I um, hope that helps you as you begin to traverse into OpenGL. Thanks a lot.